Okay, so we're right here on the streets of Lagos for whatever reason, I don't know, but this is where I have with me Nollywood actress Kiki O'Malley. Hey, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. So y'all are just going to accost me on the streets, I huh? I know. And people will be like, ah, oh, our able actress. And I was like, oh my gosh. But thank you for bearing with us and yeah. thank you for Thanks coming. Thanks for having me. Okay, so my very first question is, your last name, how exactly do you say it? Um, okay, it's pronounced Omili. Omili. Yeah, and okay. it's spelled O-M-E-I-L-I. -I. Yeah, because it gets misspelled quite a lot and I'm very touchy about <laughs> that, so. I would be too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I just used my um, Yoruba accent to pronounce it because I how did you? It. How did you say it? Ome. Oh, you said Omeili, right? But it's actually Omeili. Omeili, yeah. Oh, that's okay. it. Oh, high five. High five. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> okay. So, tell us a little bit about your um, coming into Nollywood as an actress. Oh, coming into Nollywood as an actress. Um, okay. People thought I was crazy because I had trained to be a doctor mm -hmm. uh, the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. But, oh, wow. like, I, yeah, I just really had this drive and passion for entertainment and my first love was presenting actually not even acting acting was something i stumbled upon and i just loved it so much and it just overtook everything else oh, i started wow. attending auditions and getting like really good roles and uh, the rest is history so i know most people know you as a lucky wife a lucky wife huh? yes tell yeah. us a little bit about that character okay so the character lovette i like to call her an her head mm -hmm. i think she's kind of crazy because she wants certain things and she just has tunnel vision she just goes for whatever right. regardless of the consequences regardless of the reper repercussions she doesn't care like who gets hurt in the process mm -hmm. or who she has to step on to get whatever she wants you mm -hmm. know she's crazy like that you know but she's a she's a go-getter regardless of whatever and uh, okay, okay. She's, she's just crazy <laughs> and she's nothing like me she's She's not. I I, feel, I always feel the need to say that she's nothing like Actually, me. That's gonna be my ne next question. She's nothing like me. We have nothing in common. We have nothing in common. Yeah. Oh, so okay. yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Um, season three is coming out. I don't. I know you can't give away anything, if at all. Well, much, but I want to find out as Lovett learned a lesson. Well, sad to say, she but you hasn't? know, you know how you always feel. You know how Lovett always kind of makes you feel like, oh, she has learned and you know, she has been burned mm -hmm. and maybe something will be different. Yeah, sad to say oh, now, she's still no. pretty much an airhead up to her usual Isn't antics. Is it worse? Does and, it get uh, worse? Uh, season three is drama packed. It's, 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 it's drama. I it's, see, there's too much say. drama, I know, right? There's too much drama, so yeah, that will be coming out hopefully sometime uh, soon. soon. Hope, fingers crossed. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs> so let's talk about any other projects that you're working on right now. I know you you were on the set of a movie recently. Yes, there are quite a number of projects that uh, I'm looking forward to coming out. Bomo Bomo Express that I did I've in, in that. January. Yes. yes, directed by Walter Banga. I think that is an awesome, awesome story. I can't wait for um, that to come Gideon out. Okay, was yes, an uh, Gideon okay. Mero, Sass, Blossom, and mm -hmm. a couple of other people. Yes, I can't wait for that to come out because. Uh, my role was really very different. I got to play like a gangsta, which is nice. different from the things I usually do. Yeah. So yeah, really looking forward to that. There's a movie I just completed. It's called mm -hmm. Couple of Days. Okay. That has um, Adesua Itomi, mm -hmm. it has Okeo Zueshi, it has Aina Nguigwe, Liliani Soro, and a couple of other people. So that's a pretty good one as well. I'm sure people come up to you sometimes and like, oh, Kika wants to be an actress. What do I have oh, to well, do? Oh, yes, that happens a lot. Um, even on social media, you know, Facebook, people send messages. They say, um, I want to act, I don't know how to go about it mm -hmm. and all. And um, as much as possible, I try to help because I started go getting roles from going to auditions, you know, from people sending me audition notices. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, but it's not easy. So I tell them you need to be no, really sure. You need to be sure this is what you want to do because it's really not easy, you know, mm -hmm. being um, an actor. You're going to face a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. People are going to tell you you're not good enough. You're going to question yourself. It is so much fun talking yes, to you. Yes, it's hard. On the longer. streets. On the streets. <laughs> Very first street interview, you know, we're showing you the scenery and <laughs> I know and it's pretty. And it's pretty and thank you so much for bearing with us thank and for coming. You for thank having you so me. Much. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to see you again soon and probably come on set with you and actually see what it's Yeah, like no, problem, no problem, no problem. Just let me know when. I will. Just let me know when. So bye to my viewers. Right, so it was so much fun chatting with Kiki. I just want to say thank you so much, Kiki, for talking to me on the streets of Lagos. Like, people were actually looking at her like, ah, oh, our actress and everything. But anyway, thank you so much for talking to me. It was so nice to meet you. So, up next is our on TV segment. Today, we're talking about another brand new TV series titled Living 
arrangement. Check it out. So welcome back to the show. This is still the screening room with Adenike and um, I have with me on the show today a filmmaker. You might know him if you've seen the movie ZR7 uh, about boarding house and all of that. You might have seen it. It had a few actors in it. So he's the filmmaker I'm with today. I'm going to be asking him about his upcoming TV series called Living Arrangements. Mr. Femi Oguso. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for joining us Thank today. You. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, Femi has a TV series coming up and that is what we're going to be talking about today. We also have some of the cast of the series with us. I'm also going to be talking to them as well. The series is called Living Arrangements. It features Casey Ejelonu, Munachi, and um, Udo Kaweka as well, amongst other people. Um, so tell us a little bit about Living Arrangements. What's it about? Um, Living Arrangements tells a story about the lives of six people. That live together in the same house. Okay. Um, there are subtle storylines going on. Um, I think more important for me, I, I wanted to show a TV series where six main characters that come from six different parts of the country mm -hmm. can live together and get along without having fights or arguments that have to do with tribe mm -hmm. or uh, with, with religion. Oh. So they get along, but they have their usual. They have normal problems that don't involve trial, which was the, the major thing I wanted to show. Right. I think anyone that gets to watch it from the start to the end, uh -huh. realize that okay, these people come from different tribes, mm -hmm. but their problems are normal problems. So let's talk about your role. Um, right. What role do you play on Living Arrangements? I play... Who do I play here? Chichi. <laughs> okay. Right. I play Chichi. What's Chichi like? She is... Here's the story. The story is about, you know, a friend that goes to live with a friend of hers mm -hmm. due to accommodation situations and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, Chichi is a friend of Tutu okay. and Aisha. And okay. then they all go to live with um, their friends. And Chichi is like a, she's a go-getter. She goes out and does what she has to do to get by and, you know, to keep up with their appearance and, uh -huh. you know, everything else. She can be very local where she needs to be <laughs> and she can be, you know, proper. Right. You know, she can fit in. Like anywhere she goes into, she will just fit right in. Tell us a little bit about your character, uh, Tutu, on Living Arrangements. 